नमस्कार माय सेल्फ सोमनाथ वनखेड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस एट मराठा विद्याप्रसारक समाज के के वाग कॉलेज पिंपलगाव बसवन डिस्ट्रिक्ट नासिक बिफोर टू स्टार्ट माय सेशन इट्स माय डिसन टू से थैंक यू टू ऑर्गनाइजिंग कमिटी ऑफ टेन डेज फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम विथ प्रॉपर थीम ऑन द सीनेरियो ऑफ कॉमर्स मैनेजमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक्स एजुकेशन आफ्टर कोविड नाइंटीन सो थैंक यू वेरी मच ऑनरेबल प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर वी वी गायकवाड़ सर के टी एच एम कॉलेज नासिक एस एस सोनोने सर डायरेक्टर ऑफ फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट सेंटर यू जी सी एच आर डी सी एस पी पी यू पुने डॉक्टर एन डी गायकवाड़ सर आई क्यू एस सी कोऑर्डिनेटर के टी एच एम कॉलेज नासिक एंड डॉक्टर व्ही बी बोरस्ते सर कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ दिस फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम for giving me opportunity to share my knowledge at this platform most government of around the world have temporarily closed educational institutions in attempt to contain the spread of covid-19 some 1.3 to 1.5 billion students and youth around the planet are affected by school college and university closures these Nationwide closures are impacting over 72% of the world student population. It's very difficult to rejoin the student with mainstream of education after COVID-19 pandemic. So it's a very important to keep student in touch with our education system as school and college closures carry high school and economic cost for people across communities and hence we have to change our uh, conventional teaching methodology and to adopt new one to update our methodology many tools are available as open source and using them we can develop effective e content for students in different but advanced way in newer teaching methodology precisely we can say there are two main categories first one is live lectures with with the help of softwares like google meet zoom youtube live uh, or uh, facebook live etc we can communicate with student using these softwares in second category we can share our uh, ideas our knowledge uh, and yeah, with the help of study materials in the form of video ppt pdf images etc for for this purpose we can use microsoft powerpoint microsoft expression encoder and uh, obs studio cam studio such as screen recorders on laptop and a to z or duo recorder screen recorders on mobile these are available among them today we are going to see video making using powerpoint and expression encoder so let's start the session to express ideas and concept microsoft powerpoint is an excellent resource for presenters which help to organize and communicate complex information very clearly only if it is used properly so don't forget ppt is designed to enhance our presentation not be the presentation if it is not used properly in designing of presentation slide size is the first factor which should be considered before starting presentation depending on where to present there are mainly two aspect ratios commonly used one is 4s to 3 and another 16s to 9 if you will use old projector ipad or tablet you will need a standard template 4s to 3 otherwise 16s to 9 for laptop tv monitor or modern projector here image shows the difference between views of 4s to 3 and 16s to 9 aspect ratio 4s to 3 aspect ratio is quite square in shape 
now let's see how we can change or select the slide size in office 2007 click on design in menu bar and then choose slide size option in office 2010 click on design menu then click on page setup now you will get this page setup window now click on the first option slide size for you will get many options from that first two are important first one is 4 as to 3 and second one is 16 as to 9 4 as to 3 is a default slide size if you want to change then select 16 as to 9 then click on okay next vital factor is a background and text color depending on device on which we have to present or location like big hall or small classroom background is to be selected normally for devices like tv monitor or mobile dark background should be selected and for big screen in hall white background should be used background which has selected for first slide keep same for all remaining slides these are the important guidelines many people change the background uh, which becomes very complicated or uses uh, weird colors so to make simple presentation stay away from such weird colors and busy backgrounds so um, audience can read it easily for light background use dark text color and for dark background use light text color let's see this image here on light background this black color text looks good and where this on black background the white text color looks good other combinations are not proper to read if audience is away more than 20 feet from screen then avoid white on dark background this image shows some more combinations for different colors use simple easily readable and standard font like arial times new roman or bookman old style and avoid some complicated fonts generally for title keep font size more than 34 and approximately 24 for content here we can see font size about 20 is easy to read during slide show illustrate ideas with photo or graphic don't put all sentence in ppt and don't read slide give priority to explain the slides avoid unnecessary music in presentation and make it easy to watch use minimum and required animation if needed don't overload your presentation with more animation make it simple keep 6 to 8 lines or less than 30 words per slide for each point use proper bullets and don't use all capital letters in the sentence it makes text hard to read let's start the live session of presentation making first we will see the extension i will click here on file menu and then save as click save as types you will see different options various options are there generally we use dot ppt which is 97 to 2003 presentation type 
and another one is uh, ppt x star ppt dot x if you want to start slideshow directly choose this dot pps type or dot ppsx extension here i will save with star dot pptx and presentation dot one is the name as we see earlier first select the slide size so click on design then paste setup and here is the screen size next is theme of slide here in design various themes are available choose very simple and light color theme don't select such complicated theme which will make uncomfortable to the audience for classroom choose light color theme like this one i will kept here plain white color background next option is layout click on home click on layout various options are available first option is for title slide second for title or con and content so for first slide i will click on title slide and for next slide click on this first slide and then press enter key you will get automatically next if you want to change the layout click here and choose another layout if you want to compare then two content or comparison layout is available suppose if you want to continue this layout to next slide click on this slide and then press enter key you will get new slide with same layout next insert menu from insert menu we can insert table picture clip art screenshot remember screenshot of this not this ppt of background any software or desktop photo direct album you can insert here shapes these different shapes are available smart chart for a flow graph or various diagrams are available process and here you can type the content text chart if you selected such layout then uh, from this tool you can directly insert chart select the chart type here i will prefer cylindrical form excel file will be open and you can uh, type here suppose i will type 2015 then 2016 2017 2018 years and boys girls total suppose in 2015 45 is the strength of boys and 38 is girls strength then total click on sum tool you will get addition of uh, boys and girls select these two cells to continue this format to next cell select 
the cell and drag it to down. This formula will be continued to next cell and here you may change Okay. No need to save. You will get graph here. You can change the background from right click and format walls, solid field, choose color. See the background will be changed. In this way by clicking right click and select the format walls you can choose another options border color border style by clicking on graph and then we can select various color formats from this design For more options, just click on this down arrow. Okay. We can switch the x axis content and y axis content by clicking here switch a row and column. You will get another option. And to select data or uh, to change the data edit option is available click on graph and then select data we goes to excel file and here we can again change or we can add more data we can edit these options are available okay close after graph another option is of table here from these tools we can directly insert table just type the number of columns and number of rows you will get the table I will click on the slide here, you will get again. These tools are for smart graph graphics, we have already seen. To insert picture, click on this picture, insert picture tool, select image, here is the logo of university. To show some edit option I will change the background so right click on background uh, right click on slide and select format background option change background color now you can see the image has wide background and in some slides we need just this image not its background so how to remove the image background so to remove the image back background click on image then select format or simply double click on image you will get format menu then in office 2010 there is a remove background option select that option select the complete image and keep changes click on keep changes tool see only this uh, object is remain in this image background is removed so it is one good option 
rather than the actual image insertion in slideshow. In Office 2007, remove background option is not available. So, click on colors, there is set transparent color option at the bottom and just click on the color which you want to remove. I will click on this white color. So, let us see the white color get removed from image, but in this option you can see the border of image is not proper. So, I will make it undo. So, to remove background clearly in office 10 this option is good then set transparent color where borders are very fine. After inserting image or picture there is another option of uh, video. To insert video, click on insert media clip or from insert menu, there is video option, click there, then select the video, you will get video here. You can resize the video but just uh, by dragging these corners do not shift these middle corners because it will change the size of the objects inside the image. So, use the corner buttons to change the size of video. By clicking here, we can play the video. This is project related to RFID based smart shopping card system. And if you want to remove the voice, you can remove and insert your own voice here. If you want to crop the video, then there is option in menu bar of format or just right click and format video, you will get here crop option, but from menu bar it make very simple, you can choose particular area and click on crop you will get crop video, right click trim video, you can set here starting and end point by these two green and red op options trim and insert points can be selected or you can directly enter the start and end time ok by clicking on play button we can check the preview of video some other options like video shape corners will be changed and video borders, you can select the border, video effect, just we can which we can give to all other images also, double click format, picture effect, shadow, preset, same effect we can apply to image also. To insert audio file, click on insert menu and then audio, select 
the mp3 or other audio file format you will get the media here then shift it at proper position click on play button you may decrease the voice right click on speaker icon trim audio and from here as you change the duration of video you can also change the duration of mp3 or audio file you can check here ok this video audio file is ready to insert some default sounds click on insert shape then there is speaker button click on speaker button and put it on the slide then from play sound you can choose various sound effects to check the sound effect click on slideshow and then click on this button also we can insert another button for hyperlink suppose you want to go to next or last or any slide then choose it from this option or if you want to open some software click on run program browse desktop suppose I will click on kill ok ok and I will reduce the size then click on slideshow click here enable all then kill software will be open in this way you can open any software or program by giving hyperlink to it I will press escape key and edit point from this you can change the shape I will press X escape key and then run the program hyperlink play sound from this as we discussed earlier various sounds are available okay if we want to remove the hyperlink of that object then right click on that object and select remove hyperlink or if you want to edit hyperlink then click on edit hyperlink to change the hyperlink method suppose uh, I want to select mouse over option and when I will move cursor on that object in slide show then it will goes to previous slide let's check slide show and here is the cursor when I will move the cursor it control goes to previous slide similarly we can insert another hyperlink option suppose if you want to apply hyperlink to this si uh, logo of university then I will just right click on this image and click on hyperlink and then from this we can select any page or uh, any file 
suppose this file then in slideshow when we click on here click do you want to continue yes okay that uh, program will be open this file is available in our system so any pdf doc word file image file any file we can select for hyperlink then here is the existing for web page there is browse the web this too i will click here then google chrome page will open and by clicking here any website we can browse the particular website to assign the web address just type here www dot suppose here uh, i enter here unipon address web address web dot ac dot in ok then slide show click here and see unipone site dot ac dot in site is opening ok i will close this escape in this way we can apply hyperlink to any object or image or any tool so to change the hyperlink or the of action applied to that object this action tool is used we will get directly to action setting and from here we can change the operation okay and to edit the hyperlink this hyperlink tool is available from this we can change web address or any file folder from our system then text box we can insert text box choose the size and select the font then suppose you want to reduce or remove the margin of this text box right click on text box and select format select text box and just make this internal margin zero from here you can select the vertical and horizontal alignment of the text and we'll see this text direction later see the text is here in box with zero margin and now right click format text box horizontal rip is replaced by rotate all text 90 degree close see here then header and footer all we know header and footer here is the good option of date and time which changes automatically updates automatically 
apply to all you can see this here and see the slide show next is word art by clicking on word art we can select any format of word art style and we can use this for title of the slide if you want to change the style of already entered text box here I will first make it simple horizontal format then if you want to change the style of this text then click on format menu then choose here word or style again click on insert menu next one is date and time which we have already seen in header and footer in header and footer we can also insert slide number or specific footer date time slide object by clicking on object we can put PDF file, equation, excel file, any other document, its image form in the slide. Suppose I have selected PDF, Acrobat document, close, see here is the object of PDF. You can double click and check the that particular PDF here I will choose next slide for next operation click on the slide enter we got new slide next option is equation by clicking here we can use any mathematical equation in the slide also we can change this equation from this tools escape then we have already seen insertion of video and audio files in the slide design is over transition when we go from one slide to other slide we can change the transition state fade put wipe from this fade and wipe are some good options or for simplicity use none also we can select the duration sound for transition of each slide let's see I will use here fade and sound suppose arrow effect option smoothly no see to remove transition click on none animation this is the view of animation menu in office 2010 
click on animation pane here as video and audio options are available the animation is already available to insert the animation for other images just click on that object maybe image or tool any tool and then click on add animation appear or fade see here content place if you want to change its starting option then click on start on click select it with previous with previous or after previous or just on click you can change the same option from this arrow by clicking this on arrow start on click start with previous or after if I kept start on click now I will click then this image will appear similarly we can apply animation for all these objects then we will uh, get in slideshow otherwise they will be disappear suppose click is on, on this logo and its animation is off head at the same time if we click on another animation type then previous means fade option will be deselected and new animation method will be selected older is replaced by newer animation suppose in float if you want to change the direction then click on this effect option tool up down suppose if you want to move this uh, object from this corner to that corner then click on that object click on add animation don't go here click on add animation then select motion path line green arrow shows starting position red arrow indicates end position now click on start button the object is appeared see object is moved from its first position to next position now if you want to move that object back to its position then click on that animation right click effect option smooth starts smooth end bounce auto reverse click on auto reverse like this let's imagine i want to take one ball and or object and i want to bounce it continuously click on insert menu shape circle double click select shape style and you may change effect I use shadow take it at the center then click on animation menu 
goes in add animation click on red arrow move it to upward direction right click effect option auto reverse click on next tab timing then repeat until next you may set it for two three four five or any number just uh, type here if you want this repetition up to next click then select this option or up to the end of slide select last option i will select until next click okay let's see the slideshow see ball is moving continuously using such a animation we can make our ppt more creative and active if you want to rotate this ball in circular then just click here select the circle position size by just clicking on these bubbles and drag it to expected position right click effect option auto reverse no need to auto reverse timing repeat until the end of slide ok see click and if you want it in reverse direction effect auto reverse suppose two times done like so just imagine you want to change the color to highlight the operation click on the object add animation select second part emphasis and in emphasis select complementary color or you may choose fill color option i have chosen here complementary color see how it works two times and now it will change the color in this way. thus we can make our ppt more creative and active to start the slideshow click on slideshow menu and from beginning from current slide such options are available also you can broadcast your slideshow to particular web address using email then in custom shows you can start with particular slide new suppose start with slide 4 add ok show it directly start with slide 4 similarly set 
to set up the slideshow click here from this we can select pen color laser pointer color or there are some other options you may select also we can see all these options by right clicking on slide screen select black or white screen i will select white screen then again right click pointer option pane right click color suppose let's take lavender color you may draw the diagram blank black screen pen ink color i will again change the ink color white escape uh, you can directly came to your slideshow again escape there is rehearse timing record show option start recording now next here is the window small window which shows the duration this tool is used to next click here recording is pause resume next end this will show speaker tool on each slide click here it has recorded audio on each slide thus we can record audio for every slide and play it any time from resolution we can select resolution as per the our projector or monitor tv use presenter view this option is for multiple monitors see here this feature is used with more than one monitor next menu is review where first option is spelling using this we can check spelling mistake or any grammatical mistake okay suppose i i have written here the pain and i will make some mistake spelling it shows a spelling mistake we can select particular suggestion paints or the pain change okay this option is available in review next is research tool from this pane research pane we can search for reference next is the source which shows dictionary for selected word pane is selected it shows go ball point related words 
next tool is translate suppose I select translate selected text and translation searching from English already English word is selected to I have selected Marathi language if you want to change then click there pane if I will write here sentence the pain is very good and after selecting the sentence I will click here translate see pain khub sangla hai and you can insert this sentence here in Marathi this is one good option but for this option internet connection is required without internet connection we can't find translation of sentence and replace without replacing we can copy select copy option next option is language it is for proofing the language to check the error select first language all these are the important tools using which we can create one good PPT let's see one PPT created by me this is seven segment display click on animation then animation pane we can see various animations are applied here for each segment I have used the color change option let's see given timing to each segment see we can explain say in this seven segment animation here GIF is used and seven legs these arrows direction we can reset the color in original form and ex we can thus we can explain this course to students give an animation to every sentence when we will explain each sentence that will appear here video thus we can make effective PPT let's start the session of screen recording using Microsoft expression encoder various free screen recording softwares are available on Google from these three are most popular softwares OBS studio cam studio Microsoft expression encoder OBS studio is a good one very simple software to record the screen but its video size is a little bit more than Microsoft expression encoder and there is no option to edit means to cut or resize the video recording cam studio is another very simple software available to record 
the screen but its one drawback is its size is a very very big means suppose if microsoft expression encoder uh, makes video of 10 minutes of size approximately 30 to 35 mb then cam studio makes video of size approximately of 300 to 400 mb for the same 10 minute period so this is one drawback of cam studio and the microsoft expression encoder is a free software using this software we can capture the screen for 10 minutes only in free version but if you purchase this software then there is no limit though there is limit of 10 minute screen recording using screen capture in microsoft expression encoder free version there is no problem because uh, we can capture more clips of 10 minutes and easily we can combine all these clips in uh, microsoft expression encoder means screen capture is used to 10 minute recording and encoder is for combining the videos and we can also cut trim we can resize all these uh, clips in encoder so there is no issue of free version after the screen recording there is encoder software which is used to make the video its output format is WMV if you want mp4 format then you must have to purchase this software but actually there is no need to purchase it because its free version is also very effective and sufficient for us let's see search microsoft expression encoder 4 on google chrome you will get www.microsoft.com website click on the given link and then you will get this page click download language english is already selected then after some time downloading will be started after completion of downloading double click the downloaded file and start installation click on accept no next it will install two files two softwares expression encoder 4 and expression encoder 4 screen capture codec means screen capture and expression encoder 4 these are two softwares then create shortcuts of expression encoder 4 and screen capture on taskbar or start window then first of all open screen capture which has this this red bubble when you click on Microsoft Expression Encoder for Screen Capture. This window will come on the desktop. First option is of microphone audio. Second is webcam. Third is edit option, which is nothing but the setting. Click on setting. First tab is of screen. Quality is from 1 to 100. 100 is best quality. 
generally there is 95 click here and type 100 next is uh, capture mouse pointer there is one checkbox click there generally it is empty when you click in this box then during the recording you can capture the mouse pointer next tab is of camera there is do not use webcam option if you are not interested in video shooting during the recording or and if you want to shoot the camera recording using USB webcam or the laptop camera then select this option I am not interested so I kept this option as it is next one is audio various options are available I have disabled laptop mic so it is not available here headphone speaker and headphone microphone is available here the box which shows colors some colors click in front of that microphone and if that microphone is a uh, disable or if it is not enable in that case right click on speaker here select recording device as option and then I have disabled this laptop microphone to avoid noise this microphone is of headphone double click on it listen I will first reduce level because volume level is very high click here listen to this device in listen tab checkbox apply now you can listen the voice of your microphone and from that you can change the level of audio or you may boost it like this using this option you can you can check microphone and reduce the noise level and selecting proper level we can make good audio quality in our video so screen in screen tab capture the mouse pointer if you need it if camera is needed then select it if not then leave it or in audio select microphone bitrate generally by default it is 192 select higher bitrate for good audio quality using hotkey tab we can select particular keys to start or stop recording pause recording or zooming action I have choose 1 2 and 3 from numpad to do these options in other tab first option is highlight mouse pointer during screen capturing if you want to highlight the mouse pointer with some orange color circle then click here and then ok then click on red bubble when mic is enabled now you will get this window with red box open powerpoint which you want to present start slideshow and then set this red window red box there is a black bubble at the center of each 
corner each border set by dragging them with proper position and then in on this window click on this red button which is of record then ok but remember the hotkeys as it shows green box green corners means recording is started explain your ppt and then press stop button using hotkeys after stopping the screen capturing we get this window where playlist is available and by clicking on this play tab we can check the preview so when the our captured screen recording is uh, correct then select that screen capture and click on send to encoder given at the right end corner at the bottom of the software then microsoft expression encoder 4 will be open ok this software shows preview here of video I will reduce this preview to 50% to insert another screen capture at the start or at the beginning then choose this first option and select the particular screen capture the previous screen capture is available here at the end and new entered screen capture is at the beginning now suppose I want to split cut means I want to make two parts and I want to keep initial first part as it is and to remove second part what to do select the particular lo location from where you want to cut then click here insert and edit at the playhead what will happen see there is a break in screen capture now click anywhere on this timeline which you want to remove and then click on this tool remove the clip under the playhead that part is removed if you want to insert video at the end screen capture at the end then click here and select particular screen capture this is first one then we have added at the beginning now this screen capture is entered at the end if you want to change the timing then just click here and select see the duration is changing starting time is reduced from here you can also reduce end time by clicking on particular location you will get here time and from that time you can also cut that video how let's see I will increase this area to get proper view there is first option encode second is clip clip click on clip then suppose in first clip if you want to start this clip from fifth second then just click here in third part third section this is our minute and second and 
this is sub part of second 5 second enter now this video will start from fifth second and this has a end time 47 and if you want to end it on 42 type 42 and then press enter key the duration will be selected up to 42 means this video will play from 5 to 42 second in this way you can change duration or you may select particular duration of each and every clip so you can rearrange in proper way in first encode video here actually there is no need to change the setting but if you want to improve it you can do it clip which shows various clip screen captures available for our video next option is enhance I will just play this and I want to increase volume I want to increase volume so just click here and drag it let's check from these three are most popular softwares OBS studio cam studio Microsoft expression encoder OBS studio one is normal position zero is the lowest and and from more than one with audio will be enhanced if you think audio level is a very poor then increase this and if you think audio level is very high then reduce this visual overlay this is to add some videos overlapping on this video fade duration audio duration if you are using video then these options will be enabled we have not used webcam output here you can select the file name and the directory where the output will be available generally the format of video is WME as I have told already if you want to it in mp4 format you have to purchase if the setting is completed then click on this encode tab this will start encoding first it will preparing the video making after completion of yellow mark green mark will start this will show video recording is completed then minimize this go to document expression folder expression encoder output this shows the current video is available if you have any queries any difficulties then feel free to ask question thank you dhanyavad